Thank you very much indeed, Silva. I hope you're, you're, I think you're with us. Um, I know you're, well, you were with us, so I assume you said that if you could unmute and we can think about, uh, um, um, we can open it up to uh, questions. Um, yes, I'm here. Oh yes, hello, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Um, um, oh, we've got a question here about Andrewcoccus faecium, but that's not one of these. Is that your one? That's not your bag, is it? I think that's uh, a bell. Mm. That's a private question. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, has anybody got a question for uh, Silmar? I mean, what's, uh, I mean, it's uh, really, uh, it's amazing, actually, really, isn't it, Silmar, that the, the ST is still such a powerful a unit of assessment. I noticed I was at the Welcome AMR concert conference and a number of other conferences. People are, you know, the, the ST doesn't seem is going to be easily replaced in, in any of these, you know, except for perhaps some organisms like the gonococcus where it doesn't work very well. But is it pretty well entrenched in your organisms as well? So you have to relate the higher level, higher resolution uh, nomenclatures on top of the good old fashioned, you know, MLST sequence type. Yeah, you're right. I mean, in Klebsiella, especially in pneumonia, um, we we do see these sublineages, which which really uh, mostly are homogeneous in terms of uh, sequence type. And um, so, whether we use seven genes or seven hundred, we recognize the same lineages, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's extraordinary is, that, as, I, as I mentioned in my talk, that, that for most bacteria, not not all of them, but for most of them, those seven loci uh, detect a level of population structure that just does exist within most bacterial species and m more or less strongly. But um, yeah. uh, you, know, you can identify that they pick out lineages quite well, really, don't they? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we are really trying to create a nomenclature uh, based on a core genome MLST, which would yeah. Mm. inherit from the numbers, uh, the, the ST numbers of, of the seven gene uh, MLST uh, system, because these numbers are now uh, as famous as Latin names for Klebsiella specialists, you know. Yes, yeah, well, no, that, in, indeed, yeah, I mean, it's quite extraordinary. It's sort of, a, 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 it's a slightly wry thing for me being in fields so long as you, you'll have people saying, you know, well, MLST is behind, you know, we, we, we're going to talk about genomes and here's a genomic analysis of the ST so-and-so. <laughs> mm. It's sort of become part of the, as you say, it's, uh, I have to be careful saying this to you, but it's part of the lingua franca, isn't it? It's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I call it the uh, genomic Esperanto or microbiological yeah, yeah. Esperanto. No. Um, oh, Charlene from my group says, are the clonal group names for Klebsiella pneumonia stable or do they change depending on how the groups change? I mean, that's an interesting question because, of course, how you use STs to define clonal mm -hmm. complexes. We use central genotypes in Campy and Meninge. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in terms of, of seven gene MLST, uh, if, you, if you look at clonal complexes, uh, the entire uh, set of you know, 4,000 STs of Klebsiella pneumonia will end up into the same clonal complex. So there is no use of the clonal complex um, concept in Klebsiella pneumonia. This is why we urgently need uh, something a bit uh, more resolutive. And we, I, I have been promising this genomic nomenclature for some time now, but you know, we are busy with many other things. And so uh, I'm hoping in the next months to, to deliver this uh, probably through bioarchive in a manuscript. Yeah, no, it's it's really important. I mean, it goes right back to the the, the original ideas of having MLST. We've got to have these uniform because, of course, particularly now, sequencing is relatively straightforward. It's so easy for people to come up with new ways of describing things, and and then, of course, you end up with what I've, I've in I almost used it in my talk, but I didn't. This is I mean, the Bruegel's picture of the Tower of Babel. I mean, it's we are almost cursed with this if we're not careful, and we we end up yeah. with vast amounts of data, vast of information, and we can't actually talk to each other because we don't know. How things compare. Um, are you aware, Martin? Uh, are you aware of any other attempt to name, um, you know, genomic-based groups based on um, the seven gene MLST numbers? Um, well, other than what we're already doing, I, no, I don't think so. Um, um, but I mean, of course, there are. Um, well, we, to some extent, we have done that uh, on Listeria as well because we have given the. Yeah numbers, the, the sublineage numbers, the, 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 yeah. the numbers. We sort of in Meninge so had parallel systems. So for example, we, we've, we, we've defined lineages which then correspond to clonal complexes because of course a clonal, clonal complex is an organization of a relatively straightforward set of data. But of course, the interesting thing is with, with 
the work done by Adil in, in my group, Adil Harrison, is that with gono that doesn't work because there's so much recombination in, in the nice of gonorrhea, even though it's that the, 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 there is no stable structure identified by seven locus MLST. So it really does depend, as you say, with listeria, you've got a strong, quite a strong population structure, haven't you? So that makes it a bit easier. Yeah, yeah, uh, very And of course, the TB, it's even more so. In um, Capsilla, we have the problem of hybrids. We have mega hybrids. Oh, God. <laughs> which were described in several papers now. And so yeah. sometimes you have a hybrid between two phyllo groups uh, sharing, you know, one megabase of one phyllo group and four megabases of the other. And this, this is an interesting case for phylogenetic based <laughs> nomenclatures. Great. Well, thank you very much. Again, if I've missed any questions, perhaps uh, do do feel free to sort of uh, put them in the chat and, and we'll respond to them as best we can or pass them on. But I think we should move on now.